In 2018, I heard a quote which transformed my life for literally ever. Um, if you want to know this quote, I want to talk about it in this video and, and the lesson learned and, and how my life changed. But before I do that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Bashar Katu and I'm the founder of BJK University, an online education company that literally teaches people how to start their own online businesses and is on a mission to impact 1 million lives. Now, you see, in 2018, it was about three years after I had, I had lost everything. Uh, in 2015, I lost my restaurant, was $150,000 in debt, and um, I didn't have anything left. And um, that's kind of when I went on the search to finding the, the next thing for my life. And in 2016, 20, late 2015, 2016, I found Amazon FBA, and then for the next couple of years, I, you know, I simply focused everything, all my resources on that to make it successful. 2018, I started making some money, had a, you know, hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars in, uh, in the bank, and I had started clearing all of my debt and everything, and life was starting to look pretty good. And that's when I started, you know, kind of looking at what everyone else was doing, and then I started traveling. We took trips, me and my wife, to uh, Mexico a few times, and then from there, I went to uh, start shopping at all of the, the, the big malls and the big stores like Gucci, Louis Vuitton and all this stuff. And then I went and bought myself a Bentley. And, you know, after I did that, every time I went shopping, every time I went to a trip, every time I bought, you know, especially after I bought the car or when I wanted to buy the car, I thought that this was like this was the thing that was going to help me satisfy that need of of you know of success right that that desire of feeling successful that desire of i've made it in life right and but the problem was that every time i did anything like that spent expensive money on or a lot of money on expensive stuff i felt even more empty and i felt dumber than ever right and what that quote was what other people think of me is none of my business and you see up until that point it was all about proving my cousins wrong, showing my friends that I actually can do it. You know, because everyone, after I lost my restaurant, everyone started talking shit about me and like, you wasted all this money, you spent all this money, you could have done this. I told you, let's invest in this. You know, all these business ideas that everyone was trying to throw at me. And I said, no, I'm going to do this thing. And so I became this kind of like, almost like a, a con artist in their mind because like you went and lost all this money where you could have invested in all these other things. And among those people were some of my family members as well. And so it was kind of me trying to show them like, hey, look, I told you that I know what I'm doing. That was just the wrong vehicle. And I'm going to show you that I'm successful. And so I would show off my stuff and I would show off my belongings. But I just realized that what they thought of me and me showing them that I've made it was not the solution to the desire deep down to be fulfilled. And this is why BJK University even started because of my emptiness, because I had a business that was producing thirty, forty thousand dollars a month in net profits. And that simply had not really satisfied my needs. My life was great. I gained 40 pounds. I was 185 pounds, the biggest I've ever been in my life. I felt like shit. I looked like shit. I did not I was not happy about my life. I had just gotten married and we were arguing, me and my wife, all the time. It wasn't about money now because the money I had, but money can only solve money problems. And if you're always going to be chasing material stuff and chasing, uh, 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 um, you know, what money, money can buy and money can solve, trust me that you will always and never actually, you will never win because there is someone out there with a bigger dick. And I'm sorry for saying that here, but one thing you have to understand is that Regardless of the car you drive, regardless of the house you have, regardless of the possessions you have, there's always going to be someone out there with a bigger car, a better car, a more expensive car, a, a more expensive watch, a, 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 you know, the limited edition of whatever, a bigger yacht, a bigger plane, um, or whatever it is. Now, I'm not saying that you should not be chasing money, and I'm not saying you should not be making money because you guys know that is not true about me and what I do. I make hundreds, and my company makes hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month in profits, but... I don't wake up every single day to make more profits because that's not the driver. That's not the thing that motivates me. The thing that motivates me is bigger than money. It's bigger than myself. It's bigger than anything else. It's about impacting other people's lives. And that, go, that is true for our students and our team. What I love is the growth of our company. It's not the extra digits that, the, that are sitting in the bank. And I know some of you guys might not understand what I'm talking about because maybe you're just, maybe you're five, six years ago, Bashar, you know, in 2015, where Bashar in 2015, looking at what I'm talking about right now, would have been like, man, shut the hell up. I just want to 
make $10,000 a month. I want to make $20,000 a month. And then when I get there, then we'll worry about whether or not I'm satisfied. And I'm 100% okay with that. And, and you should be okay with that. And I'm not saying that should not be the goal. But you should not be chasing after satisfying other people because you'll never win. It should be about you know satisfying yourself. Like I want to buy a Rolls Royce, and I've been wanting to buy a Rolls Royce. And our lease, our car lease, we had a Mercedes, three hundred fifty dollars a month was over. We went to the Rolls Royce dealer, and I drove one, and I wanted to buy one so bad I could afford it with one month of profits. I can buy multiple in cash. But when I went in and I saw that the monthly payment was going to be five, six thousand dollars, and then I need to fork you know, fork away with forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars in down payment. I just couldn't wrap myself around it, you know? And although the money sits in the bank, it's not like I'm taking money away from like reinvesting it back into business. It sits in the bank. So it's not like, you know, anything's going to sacrifice. But I just couldn't, you know, wrap my head around it, you know? And sometimes when I tell this story, people say, well, but why are you working? If that's what truly satisfies you, then do it, you know? And it took me a long time until I even made it to the Rolls Royce dealer because every time I was thinking about buying the Rolls Royce, it was always about, well, I'm going to post this a picture on Instagram. I'm going to send a picture to my friends. I'm going to, you know, can you imagine what my dad would feel like and what my mom would say and what my brother would this? So I was like, wait, that's the wrong reason that I'm buying the car for. I'm not buying it for me. I'm buying it for them. I'm buying it because this is how they will perceive me. And this is why people drive a BMW rather than a Toyota. Toyota Camry, I don't know if you guys seen the, the new models. They're beautiful. But people drive the BMW because how people perceive them. That's why people try to buy, you know, that's why the whole fake industry actually started, you know, started in the 70s and 80s. The Gucci and the, the Louis and the, you know, all the fake brands, you know, because people want to be perceived in a certain way. They can't afford the lifestyle, so they go and try to fake it. It's like fake it until you make it. And this is why Instagram gurus are so successful because they show you what could be possible, that it's so easy and you can get it just like that. And, you know, people go and throw money at them but we all know that that's not the ultimate fulfillment. The ultimate fulfillment is having something in your life that's true wealth. And I'm not talking about true wealth, just money in the bank or real estate or, 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 or stocks or whatever, but I'm talking about something that you wake up to excited about every single day that's bigger than yourself, that's bigger than just one person, one company. And that's why in our company and in, in, in teaching our students also in the very first modules of our program, we talk a lot about this thing called why, W-H-I, finding your why in life, finding the thing that really tickles your pickle pretty much, right? Um, but in, for me, it's growth. It's impacting people's lives. For me, it's, you know, bringing someone into our company who has been making three, four thousand dollars in their job for the last five years and then being able to triple, quadruple that in the first 30, 60 days working at BJK University. Um, it's, it's bringing on a student who has, has you know, went on to studying for 10 years to becoming an IT tech, and then 10 years later, simply hating their job to now becoming an Amazon seller, being able to travel the world, spend more time with their family, and really enjoy what they're doing, and then being able to impact other people's lives as well by helping other, other students succeed. And that's the thing. Right now, our coaches, there are four of them in our community, but there are 10 others teaching our students, which are successful students, just giving back to our students. Why? Because it's that deep fulfillment. Deep down, every single human has this thing of, I want to help others because it feels good. Think about last time you went and gave a dollar to a homeless person. Although sometimes like, well, I don't know. I mean, this guy looks like he could go get a job. But after you hand them that dollar, or that five or that 20, you feel good because we all just want something bigger than ourselves. And it's always that thing. If we really lean on that thing, it'll become the driver that will wake you up every single morning, even if you've got a billion dollars in the bank to go back to work, help and, and, and wanting to crush it. Outside of that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps us rank in the algorithm and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. See you in the next video. Take care.